children in chiropractic. There's a bit of confusion there. When is too early to have your child adjusted? Is it important? I think it is. We're going to find out today with Dr. Charlie Enown. How are you today, Dr. Charlie Enown? Great. So when is too early for adjustment? Okay, I know in the womb is too early. <laughs> but as my producer said earlier, we were talking that uh, if the mother's being adjusted, the child's being adjusted as well. That's a good thing to know. Um, when is too early? It's never too early. My children were half hour out of the womb when they had their first adjustment. Half an hour? Half hour. See, the fear factor in most parents, <clears throat> even someone who follows chiropractic, and is, you know, this is a tiny little child, and you, you, you get this image, <laughs> you know, and I, it's sad, but I mean, I, I guess there's a certain way to do it. So, a half an hour out of the womb. Half an hour out of the womb. Now, obviously, you're going to mm -hmm. gonna take care of what is in front of you. Sure. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to adjust the child like I was going to, like I would adjust you. So, what are the benefits? I mean, we know the benefits. We talk about it on here all the time and different things, and I've heard uh, ear infections, um, that's the biggest one I've always heard, right offhand. But I know your child wants to be balanced throughout their life. Correct. So what other ideas or, or other ailments we're talking about here? Okay. Well, we've, I have seen in the office on several occasions, including the ear infections, mm -hmm. yes, we've had asthma situations. We've had uh, attention deficit. Really? Uh, attention deficit? Attention deficit. Expound on that one then, because I, I have a, a cousin <clears throat> who's had that, and all we ever hear about is, Ritalin and other things that shoot the children up, which that's another whole story. Um, explain more. Yeah, well, obviously the Ritalin is, is, I mean, it's just to sell the drug. Sure. But our job is... Expediency. Exactly. Let's, let's sell life. Mm -hmm. Okay? Quality of life. And yeah. if, you know, the, the brain, brain and the brain stem actually passes down through the upper cervicals, and if there is what we call subluxation going on in the upper cervicals there, adding traction or tension to that brain stem, we're going to have, obviously, an imbalance going on in the mm -hmm. system. And what we found is if we, you know, perform these adjustments on upper cervical, upper neck, in these kids, that those symptoms, if you will, or those signs of the attention deficit will, will decrease. They will improve, you know, in school. They will improve in their alertness. That'd be in, great. In, and you've had experience with, with this before. Correct. So you've had an adjustment mm -hmm. and you've seen, I think we spoke earlier before we came on camera, you said something about a child was having... Uh, a fit, as a matter of fact, and you made an adjustment. Yes, yes. Well, that out. was on the hyperactivity side of things. Right. The same, same, same principle. Uh -huh. In that, you know, just the child was in the middle of a little episode in the office there, right. and we adjusted the upper cervicals, and his tone immediately dropped down. Now that's a great benefit. Nice, you know, deep, easy breathing. He just, wow. he just, he just settled right in. Well, <clears throat> I know a lot of parents are wondering because the quality of life again is the biggest issue, and if you can start them off young and get them for life and keep them on that path to a healthy life, that's great. What, okay, we've talked about ADHD, ear infections, anything else. I mean, I know, again, there's so much out there that, that parents are told. You know, we have to take care of your child with this, give them a shot, right. but. Um, bedwetting. Really? Bedwetting. It's, it's so common and, and people don't realize it because we're not gonna talk about it. You know, little Johnny can't be, you know. Yeah. But, you know, I, I've had kids in the office as old as 12 have wet the bed every single night. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's obviously, there's a self-esteem issue going oh, on. Oh, sure. There. Definitely. You know, there's, there's, no, there's no sleepovers. There's no uh, summer camps. There's nothing like that going on. You know, and imagine this child has to go to bed wearing a pull-up or something to that effect or else, you know, mom's got to change the sheet every night. A lot of self-esteem, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and, and, and I go, go back to the child, the 12-year-old, and, you know, had him come in. You know, they were on their last straw. You know, we don't know what to do. They were going to consult the surgeon of all things. Like, okay, what are you going to do? Are you going to tie him off? I mean, you can't do that. <laughs> Amazing. You know, let's check him out. Let's see what's going on. Let's see where the imbalance is going on inside, you know, your son. Right. And through an examination, you know, I found an area, subluxation, mm -hmm. okay, misalignment in his lower back. I had mom come and feel it herself, plain as day. She, she got it. Okay, we adjusted him. And that night was his first night of being dry. His first night? First night of being he's dry. He's 12 years old. 12 years old. Now, mind you, that didn't solve it right then and there. No, of course not. You know, there was it's a time It's not a quick involved. fix. But I will tell you, over, uh, over time, with this series of adjustments, mm -hmm. with proper care with this young man, he is now dry. He lives a normal life. He can have sleepovers. He can go to summer camp, mm -hmm. and his self-esteem is through the roof. Wow. Can you imagine what it would have been like if they had brought him in early 
early in his life, maybe not as soon as he was born, but even early in his life as, as a, a toddler or something, and they would have had those issues all this time. Correct. This poor child's self-esteem would have been so much better. Yeah. And we can and trace that. You never that hear back. this. You don't. And you can trace that back to, you know, what happened with the birth. You mm -hmm. know, as far as, you know, it's obvious, like we talked, it's a traumatic experience when it happens to, you know, to a baby. Um, it's been, on, it's been going on for know. thousands of years, though. It, it has been. <laughs> it has been. But, but how we're born now. It's a lot different. Than how it was a, sure. you know, 50 years, 100 sure. years ago. It's totally different. Mm -hmm. you we, know? We've talked about that on here, too. Yeah. And so, you know, the, the imbalances happen with him. And so we get, you know, and with any child, for that matter. And when you get them with their imbalances and you work on creating balance in their life now, when they get to be our age mm -hmm. or older, they're going to be more balanced then. You know, we can't, you know, if we get a hold of, well, with your bedwetting issue, you know, I know it was, it was is, tough. Is it going to be? I mean, if you have one now, I mean, mm -hmm. and we start addressing it now. Is it going to be? And we hear that as as effective, mm -hmm. you know, uh, with you, it will be effective because mm -hmm. you know, chiropractic will will help with this stuff. It will mm -hmm. take care of you. But we you hear know, that but too, you're right. We hear that now in adult the adult situations. Uh, now they have the the depends or whatever that people are wearing, and I and I said I don't remember hearing about this again as I was younger. It's all this is coming out nowadays, right. and why is that occurring? It's right to sell something. That sounds yeah, like yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah. It's nice diapers, you know. Right. But if you know, we can't help but think. But you have an adult that has an mm -hmm. issue like this. What if that child, or when he was a child, mm -hmm. was taken care of, and we work towards achieving and maintaining that balance and harmony on the inside? Mm -hmm. What that person's life would be like now today. Wow, it's never too young. Never too young. I appreciate it. I, that is, I you know, I, I love that. I really do. I That's a great thing. Me. It's never too young to bring your child in to get adjusted. It's quality of life. We talk about it all the time on here. Thank you again, Dr. Oh, thank Curry. you for having me. Thank you. Wonderful.